Welcome to the special Black History edition of the Usher Car Broadcast. The daily broadcast a spotlights what's happening at the best elementary school in the city of Atlanta, Usher Collier. Please stand for the Black National Anthem, lift every voice and sing. Today we shine with our Black History theme, honoring the past, inspiring the future. This is an interactive broadcast where you will get the opportunity to actively participate, so make sure you are listening and paying attention. Take intermissions as needed and pause as indicated for students' responses. There will be a great level of performances and cameo appearances made by guest speakers who will share what Black History means to them. Let's begin with our first guest who would like to share some insight on black history and how our history is still honoring the past and inspiring the future. Hello, my friends from Usher Collier Elementary School. Hope you're doing fine today. My name is Chesley McNeil. I'm the morning meteorologist here at 11 Alive. That's where we are right now. Uh, that graphic right there says wake up with Chesley because that's my show. I got my own show starting at 4.30 every morning. I know that's early, that's early, but you know, that's what I do. So I'm a meteorologist. That means one who studies the atmosphere or the air around the earth. Very thin layer. That's where all weather takes place. So that's why people will say a meteorologist or a weatherman or weather woman. That's what I do. That's what I do. You know, I never thought growing up I'd be a meteorologist or a weather person. I, I knew I wanted to be on TV because of Sesame Street. I used to love Grover. If you know the character Grover. We didn't have Elmo back then, but we did have Grover. And I wanted to be one of the kids sitting next to Grover. I never found my way to Sesame Street, but maybe one day I will. I had a meteorologist before me. So even growing up, watching television, I had some guys that looked like me on TV. There was Spencer Christian. He was on ABC. You had Mark McEwen. He was on CBS. And of course, a little bit later on came Mr. Al Roker. Everybody knows Al, right? America's weatherman right there on NBC. And I've got a chance to meet all these guys. I've Talk to Al more so than, than any of the others, but um, yeah, I got a chance to meet him. And so uh, great guys uh, led the way for people like myself uh, to be on TV. And so very, very grateful. Now, just a little history lesson, right? Meteorology, as far as African-Americans, goes all the way back to the Tuskegee Airmen. I'm sure you've heard of these guys right here. In their regiment, they had meteorologists or people that would study the weather, obviously, because they had to fly planes. One of the guys from that regiment, and this guy right here is Dr. Charles Anderson. They called him Chief, right? He was one of the first African Americans to get a PhD in meteorology. There was another guy, also, this guy here, Dr. Warren Washington. He was the second that I believe to get a PhD in meteorology. Both those guys did some excellent things, paving the way for other African Americans to do the same thing. They have um, just really done some incredible things as far as weather goes. Uh, and so I, I consider them my idols, looking up to those guys, uh, trying to follow in their footsteps. And, and that's what black history really is all about, right? Remembering our past and the pioneers that came before us and kind of walking down the, the trail that they blazed for us and trying to blaze one for you guys coming forward. Here's another interesting person right here. This right here is June Bacon Bercy, all right? She is the first African-American female to be on TV. And notice the channel up there, Channel 2, WGR-TV. Guess what? I worked there too at one point. That's in Buffalo, New York. 
Uh, and so I did get a chance to work there, but it, by the time I got there, it was uh, WGRZ. So they changed the letters, but it's the same station, still Channel 2. And so I got a chance to work there. So I haven't even been in her presence. I haven't had a chance to talk to her, but I've been in her presence before. She got on the air back in 1971, the year I was born. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and she was still around when I was up there, so I got a chance to at least uh, be in her presence, but uh, never got a chance to talk to her. But again, another great African-American blazing uh, a trail for you and I uh, that we could do the same thing and even more. And hopefully that's what you guys are learning about, and that's what you plan to do. Do more. Do bigger, do more, okay? And remember your past, okay? So you can reach back also and help others coming behind you. I'm Chesley McNeil, the meteorologist for 11 Alive, the morning show. Yeah, wake up with Chesley and the morning show. All right? Enjoy. Have a great time, guys. Thank you, Mr. Chesley McNeil at 11 Alive for that great glimpse into your world and the African Americans who inspired you. We want to send an air high five to our very own Miss Swint for making contact with Mr. Chesley McNeil at 11 Alive News. One month is not enough to capture all of the greatness we have gained from African Americans that have gone before us, that are with us now, and that have yet to show us their greatness. Before becoming great, you must accept that you are made for greatness. A strong focus we have learned in SEL is that we love ourselves first. <laughs> Children. 
dream If you believe it, you know Yeah Teachers sing, you know Yes, I do Children, love who you are and believe in who you can become you are born to soar, and even when no one compliments you or tell you that you are awesome, I want you to know that you are intelligent, strong, unique, creative, passionate, beautiful, handsome, and a genius who is positively impacting the world for generations to come. You have to love yourself before you love someone else. Nicely done, Pre-K. Students and teachers, now is the time to use your heart reaction emoji to show love to Pre-K and then another heart to show love that you love who you are. Take a second to flood your Zoom room with lots of love and heart emojis. We want to take a moment to acknowledge those who strive to inspire us every day. Yes, we mean you. Booker T. Washington, I was born into slavery and rose to become a leading African-American intellectual of the 19th century. I found Tuskegee Normal and Industri Industrial Institute, now Tuskegee University, in 1881 and the National Negro Business Week. Two decades later, I am Booker T. Washington, honoring the past, inspiring the future. My name is Akai Sanders. When I grow up, I want to be an educator who rocks. I want to inspire your minds to build bright futures. My name is Jakai Sanders. When under the path, inspiring the future. Thank you to all teachers everywhere. But a very loud kudos to the very best teachers right here at Usher Collier Elementary. Teachers make all professions possible. African Americans have created a culture that is unmatched by any other culture. Many try to duplicate the African American style, but no one does it better. African Americans proudly proclaim their culture from hairstyles to music to clothing. It starts with just being bold and gifted and just by being you. Chance Warmack of the Seattle Seahawks would like to share who inspired him to become a great player. Greetings Usher College students. My name is Chance Warmack and I currently play guard for the Seattle Seahawks. I'm excited to be a part of Usher College's 2021 Black History Program, honoring the past and inspiring the future. When I was your age, my favorite African American player was Larry Allen. He inspired me to play in the NFL and to show other children like yourselves that dreams are achievable. As you learn about Black History Month, I hope you are inspired to be great leaders who can change the world. Happy Black History Month. We are too inspired by you, Mr. Chance Warmack of the Seattle Seahawks. Your words will make us strive for greatness and to do our part to change the world. Fill your Zoom rooms with virtual thumbs up for Mr. Warmack and our usher lion, Ms. Swint, for reaching out to Mr. Warmack. Usher Carr is a STEM school. Students, quickly type in the chat what STEM stands for. Of course. 
four STEM st is science, technology, engineering, and math. Fifth grade, give us some details on African-American achievements in the world of STEM. Katherine Johnson, NASA mathematician. Katherine Johnson's work alongside of Dorothy Vong and Mary Jackson as a human computer powered the launch of astronaut John Glenn into orbit. It was the help of these three women that NASA won the space race, the race for dominance in spaceflight, capability, and exploration. Very good. Women were one of the chef surgeons at John Hopkins University. Together with Black Lock, they developed an operation to help babies with blue baby syndrome. Thomas contributed greatly to the operation techniques and in conjunction with Black Lock and cardiologist healing, testing in his work helped create the Black Lock testing shut. In fact, without the technique of this heart surgery, pregnant baby with this condition might still early death. Green was one of the first black technologists. He developed high performance computers for the NSA. He then helped develop a memory chip design. He holds the patent for the circuit that helped the company become a reckoning force in the semiconductor space. Frank Green founded multiple companies and was one of a few dozen people to be inducted into Silicon Valley Engineering Hall of Fame. My name is Anika Ranch. I'm in pre-K, May 19, May Jameson, the first African woman in space where she was a medical doctor in the astronaut. John died, Blue Sweat Jr., the 144-time Baptist during the Vietnam War. Blue Sweat Jr. was the first African-American man to travel to space. Blue Sweat Jr. took four trips to space. Then he was noticed as a mission specialist on the Challenger, then on the Discovery. In 1997, Blue Foot Jr. was inducted into the United States Hall of Fame. April Aitzen Jackson was the first African American woman to receive a PhD in engineering at NASA, Goddard Space Flight Center. Dr. Aitzen Jackson still worked as, as an aerospace engineer at NASA today. Yay! Of course, there are so many great STEM achievements from the minds of African Americans. Thank you, fifth grade, and your collaboration with other young STEM gems on sharing your knowledge of the STEM contributions made. Let's show our appreciation with a thumbs up emoji. African Americans are trailblazers in, this, in the drama and media. Kindergarten wants a spotlight, a true media icon with the cameo of a drama legend. Oprah Winfrey is best known for her talk show. In short, she is a media mogul, a talk show host, a network owner, a philanthropist, a producer, an actress, and an inspiration to us all. She is the queen of media. Open your boxes. <laughs> He may not have gotten the place he always wanted, but he had something better. He had love. All my life I had to fight. She is the first black woman billionaire. She, you know, if you do a play, you do it, it's over. But the thought of doing something like this and leaving it on screen is forever. You are awesome, Kindergarten. Everybody send the wow reaction to Kindergarten and Oprah Winfrey, featuring the late Cicely Tyson. Oprah continues to wow us by breaking glass ceilings. Usher Collier students, quietly whisper our STEM school theme. 
If you whispered, building a better world, one entrepreneur at a time, you've been really paying attention. My name is Destiny DJ, and today I wrote a poem about Madison J. Walker. Who is she? Sally and profiling. Turn her head, no doubt, but she thought to herself, Honey, with all these curls, honey, with all these curls, what can I do to make them straight? Nine ponies. She thought until she came up with a magic hot pony. And then later came others. She wanted that stop. Oh my, oh my, all the gals came running, happy faces, great ladies. That's all she wanted. Who would ever thought she would, who would ever thought she would be so famous? She is the talk of the town. No, scratch that, the talk of the world. Who is she? They call her Madam, Madam C.J. Walker, do you? Entrepreneurship is a great way to turn ideas and passion into a financial opportunity. Thank you, third grade, for introducing and or reintroducing these African Americans, entrepreneurs, to inspire us. Let's clap it up. African Americans have a strong tie to music. From tapping, clapping, drumming, humming, singing, and even beatboxing the music. Pr Produced by African Americans, has the ability to make us feel what words can't say and inspire our souls. Gospel music can be treasured in the early 17th century. Now let's listen to one of the gospel greats. <laughs> I'm here 
We feel you, first grade. The compilation was captured in our minds, souls, and hearts. If you felt what first grade was playing and it made you want to sing along or made you want to get out of your seat and dance, fill your Zoom room with party emojis. Our next guest speaker really drives our theme home of black history, honoring the past and inspiring the future. Take a listen as he challenges us to do our part. Hello, Usher, Collier, Lions. How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. forgive me uh, for the stingrays and the fish and the whales that keep passing by. I'm on assignment underwater, and uh, they keep interrupting, but I'm going to try to... Hey, get, get out of my shot. Anyway, I'm going to try to ignore them. But hey, thank you guys for inviting me out. It is so good to be here. I saw your broadcast, and I love what you're doing. A bunch of future journalists out to take my job. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, let me tell you who I am. I am Tom Jones, news reporter for WSB TV Channel 2. Do you guys watch Channel 2? Yay! Have you seen me on the news? Oh, great. Thank you uh, guys for watching. I am a news reporter, as I mentioned, and what I do every day is go out into communities and gather news. Me and my photographer will go out and interview people and we'll talk to them and then we'll put together a story and then you'll see me on the news. This is Black History Month. Yes, it is. Let me tell you what Black History Month means to me. It means that this is a moment to take time out to celebrate our ancestors, celebrate those who have uh, done some amazing things, have accomplished so much to help us get to this point, and we need to recognize what they have done. It's important to recognize them. Sometimes they don't get the recognition they deserve, but we want to make sure we recognize those people who have done great things, people who look like you and me. I understand that your theme is Black History Month, honoring the past and inspiring the future. What that means to me is we, as I just mentioned, we celebrate the past. Those who have done some amazing things, have accomplished so much, inventing things, helping uh, make the world better. We celebrate them, but we also Look forward to those who will inspire the future. And guess what, kids? You, we are depending on you to inspire the future. We are looking to you to do great things, to invent things, to uh, become judges, uh, teachers, lawyers, even news reporters. We want kids years from now to look at you and celebrate you and your accomplishments on Black History Month. It is so good to be with you guys and please ignore the fish, I'm sorry about them, but I'm underwater on assignment. But I wanted to take time to speak to you guys and tell you that you are important. It is important that you get in your books. It is important that you learn. It is important that you listen to your teachers, listen to your parents. It is important that you try to be the best person or people that you can be and improve your community. If you see paper on the school, uh, on the ground at school, if you see someone acting up, say, hey, hey, correct them and say, that's not the way to go. We are here to inspire the future, all right? Hey, thanks again for inviting me out. You guys have a great day. Peace. We want to send super shine to Mr. Tom Jones at WSB TV. Usher Lions, if you are ready to accept the inspiration challenge sent out by Mr. Jones, use your reaction emojis and click the thumbs up. Mr. Jones, we Usher Lions accept your challenge to be inspired inspirational to others. Thank you, Ms. Nero Jackson, for connecting with Mr. Tom Jones, even while he was on an assignment underwater. African Americans have spent centuries fighting for their voices to be heard and to be treated equal and fair. Dating back before the civil rights era today to today with organizations like Black Lives Matter, 
African Americans are winning battles for a chance to make a real change by voting and securing a seat at the table and having voice in discussions. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream that it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plane, seeking a home where himself is free. America was never America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that that great strong land of love where never kings can be nor giants schemed that that any man be crushed by one above it was never america to me oh let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no faults patriotic reef but opportunity is real and real Life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me. Say who you are that mumbles in the dark, and who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white food and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I am the red man driven from land. I am increment clutching the hope I seek and finally finding only the same old st stupid plan of dog eat dog of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of scrim and hope, tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain of grab the land. Of grab the goal, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the man, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker, sold to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry me. Hungry yet today despite the dream, beaten yet today, of oh, pioneers. I am the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker bartered through the years. Yes, I'm the one who dreamed our basic dream in the old world while still a surf of kings, who dreamed a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet it's mighty dang darling sings in every brick and stone in every furrow turned that's made american the land it has become oh i'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what i mean what i mean to be my home for i'm the one who left dark island shore in poland's plan in england's grassy lee and torn from black african strand i come to build a homeland to the free the free who said the free not me surely not me the millions on the leaves today the millions shoot down where we strike the millions who have nothing for our pay for all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today all oh, that America be America again, the land that never has been yet, and yet must be the land where every man is free, the land that's mine, the poor man's Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at, at the foundry, whose plow in the rain, must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me any ugly name you choose. The still freedom does not stand. From who um, lived like witches on people's life, um, we must take back our land again, America. Oh, yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet I swear this oath America will be.
crack and ruin of our gangster death. The right of grab and stealth and lies. We, the people, must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of these great green states and make America again. Hi, my name is Jabril Mac Flanagan. The black politician that I decided to choose is Kamala Harris. I chose Kamala Harris because she is the first African American female vice president. Kamala Devi Harris was born in Oakland, California on October 20th, 1964. Her parents divorced when she was seven and her mother raised her and her sister Maya on the top floor of a yellow duplex in Berkeley. After high school, Harris attended Howard University, the prestigious historically black college in Washington, D.C. She was elected in a runoff with 56.5% of the vote. With her victory, she became the first black woman in California to be elected district attorney. During her first three years as district attorney, San Francisco's conviction rate jumped from 52 to 67. Frederick Douglass was born a slave and traveled the country MD in 1818. Although Frederick was unable to attend school, he knew and understood the power and value of literacy. At seven years old, Frederick was sent to live at the White House plantation where he saw his mother bears sell them up until she died. He was 10 years old back then. A few years later, he was sent to serve the old family in Baltimore, MD, where his master's wife taught him the alphabet known as Old Man Eloquent. Frederick became one of the most important political activists who fought for the emancipation as well as the equality of all people after escaping slavery. Hope you guys like it. Bye. Jesse Jackson was a candidate for the Democratic presidential nominator in 1984 and 1988 and served as a shadow U.S. Senator for the District of Columbia from 1991 to 1997. He he is the founder of organization that merged from the Rainbow Push, former U.S. Representative Je Jesse Jackson Jr. is his eldest son. Fourth grade, that was truly inspirational. We are all wowed. Students, use your wow reactions emojis in this political arena. We have no recent great strides African Americans are making now and some right here in our great state of Georgia and right here in our city of Atlanta. Hello, Usher Kaya Heights Scholars. I'm Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, a proud graduate of Frederick Douglass High School, and I attended Kaya Heights Elementary School a long time ago. I still have friends that I met there in kindergarten. So no, the person you're sitting next to right now may be your friend almost 50 years later. I have so many fun memories of Kaya Heights Elementary School. My kindergarten teacher, Miss Peggy Hall, even had the opportunity to attend speeches that I've given as mayor. And it just warms my heart to know that I've made her proud. So know that you or one of your classmates may be mayor of Atlanta one day. Atlanta Public Schools has so much to do with who I am. I was nurtured and educated by teachers who believed the best in me. They brought out the best in me. They didn't accept anything less than my best. I fondly remember my teacher, Ms. Georgia Mack, when I was a student at Ralph Bunch Middle School. I did a project one day, I'll never forget. It was on Freaky Friday, the book. And I did a really bad job. And I stood up in front of the class with my poster board 
and Ms. Mack tore it up and put it in the trash. And she told me not to ever come back in her class with some mess like that again. My feelings were so hurt and I was so embarrassed. But the lesson I took from that is that unless I do my best, I shouldn't even try at all. And I can go on and on about the many stories that I have from my teachers um, who were part of my experience at Atlanta Public Schools. But all of those experiences have led me to where I am today as mayor of Atlanta. It's a really big job. On top of thinking about crime and thinking about how to keep you all safe and making sure that our businesses are supported, we also have to think about affordable housing in our city and making sure that families like yours can still afford to live in our city. And then it's great to have the partnership of the Atlanta Public Schools, led by Dr. Herring and Chairman Jason Estevez, making sure that you all are able to receive the quality education that you so deserve. Nelson Mandela said, the most powerful weapon in the world is education. It's the most powerful tool that can be used to change the world. So know that everything you're learning today may sometimes get boring, may not inspire you very much right now, but know that these are lessons that will build you up into being productive adults and leaders in our city. I had the great pleasure of working with so many people who went to Douglas High School with me or went to other schools in Atlanta. The great part about growing up in Atlanta, our history is black history. Amongst us are leaders who helped change the world. We know about Congressman John Lewis. He was my friend and my hero. He helped change our nation. He helped black people receive the right to vote. He led us in Congress with so much passion and so much energy toward making sure that black people were given the dignity and respect that we so deserve. He worked alongside my aunt, Ruby Doris Smith Robinson in SNCC. She was also a graduate of an Atlanta public school. She attended Price High School. She went on to attend Spelman College. While at Spelman College, she met then John Lewis, later to become Congressman Lewis, and she protested with him and helped create the Freedom Rides. She stayed in jail for over 30 days in segregated Mississippi. She died at the age of 26, but so much of her leadership helped change America. I share that with you because it's all within you to make a difference in our communities. Whether you become a teacher or a mayor, whether you are a leader, like a civil rights leader, like Congressman Lewis or my aunt Ruby Doris Smith Robinson, or if you are an adult who goes to work every day to take care of your family and nobody knows the title, but you go and do an honest day's work, all of it matters to our community. So stay encouraged. Know that the best of the best comes out of APS. I hope that I'm a testament to that. And I'm so happy and honored to join you for this Black History Month celebration. Yes, Usher Collier, you heard it right. Our Atlanta mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, has a tie right here at Usher Collier. We want to send confetti to our gifted teacher, Miss Gaither, for reaching out to Mayor Bottoms. Thank you, Mayor Bottoms, for sharing with us what Black history means to you. I am sure we've all been inspired. As we bring our virtual Black history to a close, we hope our theme has resonated you throughout the program and hopefully throughout your lifetime. Our theme is honoring the past, inspiring the future. We want to share what it looks like to be inspira inspired by greatness.
crusher lions, let me hear you roar. Continue to be responsible, obey, achieve, and show respect to your teachers, peers, family, and community. At Usher Collier, we work hard, get smart while making no excuses. Thank you for joining us on the special Black History edition of the Usher Collier Broadcast, and have a great day of virtual teaching and learning.